Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad in the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about coupling. I'm going to open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com and select begin. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to the um, coupling tutorial. Now the term coupling is commonly used to describe a device that connects one object to another. One simple example that comes to mind is a garden hose coupling. The actual coupling is the threaded piece on the end of the hose that allows you to couple the hose to a spigot. Imagine trying to somehow, you know, connect a rubber hose to a spigot without the coupling. Good luck, right? You know, duct tape maybe. <laughs> In the world of Java, the term coupling refers to the connection that two classes have with each other. Now there are two types of coupling in Java, loose coupling and tight coupling. If I go back to the hose coupling for a minute there, it is a bad thing to have a loose coupling, right? Water drips and sprays everywhere, and a good thing to have a tight coupling, no drips. Now back in the world of Java, it is the exact opposite. Loose equals good, tight equals bad. Okay, so let's talk about tight coupling, tight coupling and why that is bad. Now the term tight coupling is used to describe just how much an outside class can get its grimy little paws into another class's members. <clears throat> tight coupling is synonymous with a lack of encapsulation and a poorly designed API. Consider the following code, All right? Okay, so we've got this public class box down here and we've got a public int volume for its uh, instance variable and we got this constructor here that takes length, width, and height. And basically it just calculates the volume on the fly, right? This volume equals length times width times height, okay? Um, and then up here in the tight coupling class, we have our main method entry point. We create a new box object, B. And then we can directly print out the volume right here, right? Obviously, you can see the problem with this right here. You know, we can uh, we can change the volume if we wanted to. We could say like int, uh, you know, right after this statement here, we could do like int or uh, b dot volume equals 41 or something like that, and display that to the console. Now, someone who is new to programming and just learned about constructors may very well write the exact box co class code above. Now, in the example above. The tight in tight coupling means that class A has tight or direct coupling to the instance variable volume in the class box. Now this sort of tight coupling is very bad because once the novice programmer realizes the ramifications of his mistake and changes volume to private and adds a getter method, the tight coupling between A and box will be broken. Now just to, reiterating, just to reiterate real quick there, tight coupling is synonymous with a lack of encapsulation and a poorly designed API, right? So the tight means that um, this class, tight coupling, can get in inside of class box and directly access this instance variable volume. It's in there, it's in there tight, right? Um, it can't just pull it out easy, right? If you try to modify this, you know, it's in there so tight it's going to break the relationship, right? So that's that's why tight coupling is bad, okay? Let's talk about loose coupling here now. Now the term loose coupling is used to describe just how much access an outside class has to another class with a well-designed API. Loose coupling is synonymous with excellent encapsulation and a well-designed API. Well, consider the following code, right? Um, so in class box here, now we have a uh, private int volume, and you'll notice I've added final up here too as well. Um, and then this constructor and a single getter method there that just returns volume, right? And volume is being calculated from within the constructor, nothing wrong with that. And then uh, basically up here in the loose coupling, we've got the main method entry point, our box B, new box B object, and we display the volume by B and then invoking the getter method, the get volume method there, right? Now in the example above, the box class is just beginning to take shape. The object state, in other words, the private int volume, cannot be coupled directly by an outside class. We have a constructor that calculates the volume when the object is created. The class is final, so it cannot be inherited. We have a single getter or accessor method that returns the volume, the value of the volume. At this stage, the box class is well encapsulated and has a very simple API. 
Now the box class is well poised for future expansion. We can add setter methods, we can add a private method to calculate the volume outside of the constructor, we can add more constructors, we can remove the final modifier if we decide we want to allow inheritance, add a public static method to calculate the volume without even using the private int volume, etc. The whole point is that we can control the various different ways that an outside class can couple with our box class. As long as the outside class cannot get inside and tightly coupled with our box object state, then the relationship is loosely coupled. Loosely coupled equals good. Okay, so um, there's this tutorial, there's there's not going to be any, you know, here, highlight the source code and let's run anything. You know, these, the source code up here, if you want to cut and paste these and compile them and run them yourself there, you know, just take out the public keywords if you're going to put them into the same class there. But, you know, basically, um, you know, you're more than welcome to do that, but it, these are so simple and we're just really describing the, the concept of coupling and more specifically the two different types of coupling, loose coupling and tight coupling. So that, that just gives you a good idea on that. Just uh, something to be, be familiar with there. So anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.